Hello, my sexy muffins. And sorry if you hear my dogs eating and drinking in the background. They gotta eat and drink too. It's hot. They're hungry. They're irritated. Anyway, so we are going to be going over, since we got a good amount, of the images of the official Husband Hotel Twitter. If you're not, I will leave a, a link for it so you can like it and follow and get notifications so you can get the official uh, posts from it. I have them already set up. There's only five. And we're going to react. Well, not react because i already seen them because I stalked this Twitter. I thought we would. Hey, come here. You don't need to be growly. I know you hear the guys on the dirt bikes. Yeah, dirt bikes go by and turn in the summer. It sucks. I hope they're not doing that the whole time. Yeah, I hope they're not doing that the whole time. Anyways, so. Uh, first, we are going to start with the first one that came out. Which, I was so excited. This came out in December 21st, 2021. And See You in Hell has been at Hasman Hotel. Open soon. Devil emoji. Evil devil emoji. Let's make it big. Okay, that's too big. We'll do details in a sec. So there's obviously Serpentius ship. ship. Then there's Alistair's radio tower. Then there's this, which it might... I thought it was going to be for Baxter, but Vaggy... Late in later, you'll see that Vaggy appears to be on it. Or let's... We'll look at that later. I'll keep this up. This might be for Baxter, which is a character that Vivsi has made that has not gotten a redesign yet. But his whole thing was that he went down with a ship. It was based off the Titanic, and but she didn't want to put in real tragedy, so it's a different... In the show, it's going to be a different ship that he broke down on and sank in. And we'll show him... Maybe we'll show his character of what he used to look like and what possibly... And yeah... And let's get some more details. Like, see, there's... Let's literally look at these details. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, the background is nice. Has been a hotel. Got a new design from when Alistair just made it, so I like this one much better. Then on his radio tower, you can see moss, which could just be from decay and decrept. But he literally put arrows for himself and a big on air neon sign. So he wants to be known that he is here. Like three arrows. The apples are there, which is a good sign to the apples of that is Lucifer from Lucifer Morningstar, Fallen Angel, yada, yada, yada. And this is one of his buildings that she has taken over that is clearly in disrepair because... She hasn't had time to fully repair it, so the apples are a symbol of that. And the hotel is his, obviously. Okay, one sec. There we go. Back up. Apples. Now, Serpentia's ship. There we are. Serpentia's ship. It has kind of redesigned itself. More deadly looking, more clean. It's laser beams. It's it just it's a work of art, really. Lots of gears and stuff, and the whole evil smile thing works for it. I love the ship design much more this way. And then I do not know what the carousel is for, or what demon it is for. It's clearly not for Vaggie. It's not for Angel Dust. It's not for Charlie. But it does go with the theme in the circus that all of hell is really just one, oh, we'll get one big circus, really. Because of, because of all the sh stuff that goes on. You see it in Hell of a Boss where, uh, literally Osmodeus is, is like a big, a tent top, whatever, I don't know the things, but basically that hell is a circus, really. And this is a theorized it could be for Cherry Bomb, uh, Ed Bosco, who uh, was or still is, I do not know. It, voice actor for Alistair pointed out that it could be Cherry Bombs. Who knows? He might just be tricking us. And then more Apple themes, snakes for 
him being snake and the apples. Very, I don't know what these are. I can't zoom in anymore. Just circus theme and now down here. I think this is circus tops, but I'm not sure. And more snakes, more apples. Aspen Hotel, the signature theme they have coming soon. No vacancies, which will obviously change. More arrows point into that. And all that. I don't know who the train could be for, though. That is a complete mystery. The train really throws me for a loop. Who could be with the train is a good question. Could it be Nifty, Husk, etc.? Here to the ship. Oh, is there anything down here? No. Here to the ship, broken to the thing. It could very well be Baxter, as I said, which Baxter died in the ship, yada yada. The hotel, just... There is so much detail into this, like looking at all the cracks, the apples and snakes, and the broken parts of the hotel. It's like the detail is amazing. The eye symbolism, it's it, mwah, chef's kiss. So, but breaking down the, we know, which is definitely Alistair, and we know what is Serpentius, I would bet my bottom dollar that this this ship is for Baxter but I'm not 100% sure we will see as we go and that is the first image which is the hotel okay oh yes and all all rights reserved copyright keeps bit bailing all rights are reserved for this because Vivzy Pop is the creator of Has Been Hotel and I do not claim any of her work. This is just for me analyzing it and gushing about it. Love this design though. I would give all my money to stay at this hotel. Love the eye. Okay, so there's that. Before we look at the next one, the next one here is Introducing Charlie Morningstar, our very own Princess of Hell, evil devil emoji. And let's do this. Boop, 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 boop. Before we get to the beautiful Charlie herself, more eyes and demonic semblance. Eyes in the apples and the, and the coat of arms, which possibly could be Charlie Morningstar's family coat of arms. Eh. <laughs> apples in the door circus tents uh oh again all rights reserved i do not own this and back up here more apples more symbolism and then here we go charlie morningstar i'm not a big fan of how her shirt's untucked because it just seems a little bit unprofessional i know it was probably easier for the artist so I'm not going to give them shit about it because I'm not an artist in general. But it just seems a little unprofessional to me. The hair, I like this hair much more than their other one. And my opinion on this, that she looks much more mature and refined for a Demas Princess of Hell. When the other one looked a little immature, like a teenager with a dream that is kind of rebelling against her parents. But this seems like more put together, like she's been working hard on this dream for years as it seems she did was in the pilot so it seems like that so i like this design very much more again the hotel is falling apart but she has her dream and she's helpful this is probably her first time in the hotel that since she got it and she's like seeing it through the eyes of what it can be her dreams for it and that's beautiful honestly the red eyes not a big deal also it she is red so she is matching her girlfriend's later design, not Alistair's, because they are a woman, a woman couple, and because Charlie Morningstar is bisexual, and Vaggy has either is lesbian, bi, or pan, one of the two, but she definitely likes girls. And I don't know 100% what her sexuality is, and I'm not going to say if it is something or is not. Anyways, onwards. So that is the second post.
third post, the one we all have been waiting for, our dear boy, Alistair. There's a lot of details, so we're going to have a lot to go over. Oof. Smile today. Smile today, the day. <laughs> Smile, today's the day to meet Alistair, the radio demon. Evil devil emoji and microphone. And let's do this. Okay, let's first take in Dear Boy, Dear Boy, Dear Boy. We love Dear Boy. We'll get to him in a second. The details. Again, the hotel's a little gross and such. But look at the details on this coat. A deer symbolism of deer antlers, probably from ones that he has killed. Uh, possibly a coke or a blanket, I don't know. Deer hooves, he really took the time to probably build this. His microphone, which probably helps broadcast off to all of hell other than his microphone, is very nice. Like, it's a, I don't know if you can tell, but when a pentagram's up like this and down here and just the opposite of this when you flip it, it's for Wicca religion. This way, it's a satanic pentagram that he has right here. Very detailed on that plant which is probably from the bayou where he probably grew up of louisiana and that's how it symbolizes there his bloody tea of course he would have bloody tea this is alistair a cannibal radio demon i love the details on his work setup it's the most put together and set up probably just the way i like it i wish there was some notes we could read that would be a nice touch and that's that side more notes again opportunity to read and as you can see i don't know if he's sitting or he's about to sit but it looks like he has room for a tail right here anyways let's go up again oh i didn't go all the way did i missing anything no i'm all the way okay good I love the pillow design, which is eyes and such. More symbolism. And now, to the radio demon himself, Alistair. So, he didn't change much, but he just seems more clean and put together. The biggest change I've noticed is the teeth. Is the teeth. And I say these teeth are much better than his old ones. I just like the design better. And yes, they're still yellow. And now, let's talk about the things that Alistair doesn't like necessarily cleaning himself. I think that he would have like the power to keep himself clean and be able to like get it off in like a snap of his fingers, but he doesn't do self care like brushing teeth or mouthwash or flossing because he's from the 1920s, 1930s. It may be earlier. It just wasn't a common thing for them. And he doesn't really give a frick, which honestly sucks. But honestly, he would smell nice because he would be a gentleman. But also there's this times where he's done killing someone that he probably smells like blood and death, but not necessarily a bod body odor smell. Love the new clothes. Very classy. I love the plants I work. It balances him out more, and I love the white. It makes it look just a little bit more classy, which we know. Alistair the Radio Demon is a very, very, very classy. And now on to the next one. Angel Dust. Get a load of Angel Dust. Angry Spider Emoji. <laughs> Angry Spider. Spider Emoji. Angry Sad Devil Emoji. Has been hotel. Angel dust. Okay, now let's look at designs. This is probably either his room or his room and setup for when he does private shows. The I love the lights. I really want these lights in my bedroom. There's not a lot of background stuff for his. I'm just doing a quick sleepover. Oh, the pillows are fabulous. Like I want a body pillow like this. Viv, make the march of these pillows. I would give all you my money. So, and the angel dust lights. Of course, he would have his name and lights. He is a star. Now to angel dust himself. Again, I like this form of teeth better than the other one. And 
Uh, I wanted to get it close. His floof is down, but he's still floofy. But like a Vizzy Pop has said that the floof, this just floof, this just floof right here, is gets more pushed up to look like boobs when he's wearing tighter clothes. Now that his chest is a bit more showing, it's less booby and more floofy. We love the floofy chest. Now, this is where I was getting confused, because look here. Here is where you can clearly see toe-tone gloves, like these and these. But down here and here, it doesn't look to me like gloves. Like, am I wrong? I'm not 100% sure. But is he only wearing gloves on the upper body and on the lower body? He's not because, look, skin tone matches, skin tone matches, skin tone matches, skin tone matches. I'm not 100% sure, but is Angel Dust wearing gloves on the second part, lower part of his body, arm set, I do not know. And again, his iconic boots. We love and stand these iconic boots to the death of us. And yeah, I would love these boots in real life, but my calves are way too fat for them. I would need like special designed ones. And again, all rights reserved, same on this last one, that this does not belong to us. It belongs to the studio and Vivzy Pop. And last one, make way for Vaggy, protector of the hotel. Evil devil emoji has been hotel. You're okay, Chloe. I know you want to get the fan on because you a hot dog. Last one. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. That's how legit how I reacted to this she just she looks like an angry mom that's going to throw hands who has ever hurt her child now detail time uh no there if you look down here you can see like dead trees and such and a pathway so this is obvious might be in the back of a hotel uh i'm looking for any details give me a sec Oh, the lamp. The lamp is beautiful. Just the eye symbolism again. And this is like the top of the ship. See, it's clearly, I think, a different ship. But I'm not 100% sure. Because this could be the same ship. But it could be for her that the ship was. I do not know. Because look, yeah, it's the same ship. Look. Right here. This is where the stuff was broke. So it's probably the same ship. I didn't know the details because I thought it was a wooden ship. But you can tell the metal and up here where the thing was broken and the building in the back so yeah this is the same ship she's probably using it to watch and guard but is now the ship for her or for baxter we don't know anyways now on to her design the ribbon just looks more cut, clean and cut and fits vaggie's personality more than a soft round ribbon which i like because the sharp edge fits her so much better I see that they went a little bit more with a moth design or butterfly, whatever they go through with her hair. So it's not just gray hair. It's more like a design of wings as hers. And I love that they went with business. Not like, I mean, I loved her dress. Her dress was beautiful. But this looks more like a proper businesswoman that's, going, that's working hard for the hotel. But also still has her gloves and leggings as her style. But is professional and the red matches Charlie. So couple goals right there. Couple goes. So yes. I love this outfit too. I would love to go to work in this outfit. It's like yas. Yas, yas, yas. Anyways, those are the designs. I will do a part two when there's more designs. And also if uh, you like follow all that stuff to uh, this channel and yes you do all that and then also where search 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 search, search. explore there we go viv she should come up go to Vizzy pops YouTube channel like subscribe to her because she is the real creator in real if we didn't have her has been hotel wouldn't be a thing oh and look at see 
this just looks more like a teenager with a dream that's living in a fantasy bubble. The other one looks like a real goals type thing. And Vaggie looks more professional and more personality with herself. And Alistair, see, those teeth just really threw me when I first watched him. I love the new design on the teeth. And Angel does. Do I miss the boobles? Yes, I miss the boobles. But the floof is still there, and he, we love the floof floof. But also, you can tell that these are gloves, so... That is all I got to say. I can't wait to see the other ones come out, because yas, queen. And anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and that you follow Viv, that you follow Viv and you follow Hasman Hotel and you keep an eye on that content and all such. We might do this with a hell, hell of a boss designs, but I do not know. I hope you all enjoyed this video and stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Bye-bye. God, it's so hot. I need to get the air conditioner hot.